Mikhail, very different emotions to St James's Park in November. How does that feel to, to feel like you put something right there? Yes, uh, I think we had a, a great performance. Uh, big credit to the boys after two days uh, and just half a day to prepare a game. Um, the way they executed everything, uh, their intensity, their commitment, their determination, their aggression and and progression in everything that we were doing with the ball. They played with a lot of courage against the team and uh, and we got rewarded. I think we fully deserve to, to win the game. Can I ask you about you know, two set pieces again leading lead to goals? Is, um, is Nicholas on a good bonus? <laughs> That's probably for the owner for able to respond. But uh, the fact that we are scoring goals in various ways, you know, from various players as well, is really satisfying. And we could have scored many more today. Um, and we have to continue to do that, keep developing um, all the things that we can still do better, which which we have There's still some things that we have to to improve, obviously, and uh, and then get players back, which as well we are doing right now, and it's going to be really important. Nick from Haters. You keep bringing in Jorginho for these sort of big games and he has a big impact. What's the thinking behind bringing him in for these matches and what your thoughts on him? That he's a top player and and especially when opponents have certain behaviour, certain setup, uh, the way I can imagine the game, um, he he was gonna have a big impact, but after you have to do it at this level. And when he's not playing consistently, I encourage to him because he was magnificent today again. Kai Havert said afterwards that he thinks he's a world-class player. He seems to have quite a few players playing at their peak at the moment. Uh, he is certainly, um, but I think individually today we're outstanding, you know, and uh, and we play and we raise the bar again because against uh, Newcastle they are top side, they are really well coached, and, and it's very difficult to do what we've done today, um, to have them in the positions and and to and to make them suffer like we've done. So uh, great to the boys. Art from the Athletic. Hi, Mikel. Um, the team are unbeaten in 21 league games after coming back from European games. I was just wondering if there's anything specific that goes into that, because it felt like the energy, I guess, from the players and also the stadium yeah. itself was very different. Well, thanks for the start, because I didn't know. <laughs> but uh, it shows how much we won it, and, and, and as well, credit to the staff as well for making all the efforts that they do to recover the players. But I could sense it from, from the moment that we, we, we were in Porto, that we were ready for the game, and we wanted the game the next day, because it was something that we could have done much better there, and um, it's great to see that reaction. It's great to see the support that we got in the stadium as game, and, and we go again. Nick from the Guardian. Hi, um, You've had some good winning runs since you've been here, but you've won your last six Premier League games by an aggregate of 25 to 3. And we, I don't think we've seen anything like that in quite a few years. What, what's clicked? Well, but the, the team is, is hitting form. We're in a good moment um, and plays individually. They are performing. It's not uh, any secret. Things are flowing at the moment. Uh, as I said before, we are scoring goals in various ways. And uh, and especially we want more. We score one and we want to go for the second and the third and the fourth one. And, and, and I love that mentality from the team. Is that something that's got better in, in recent weeks, the ability to, to put teams away, to go for those extra goals? Well, we have to do that because we won a lot of games, especially last year and this year when we deserve more and we generated more. I think today we could have been much more as well. But, uh, but we have to demand ourselves that. Jonathan? Mikhail, what, what, what's the key to staying on this run? Is it staying in the moment? Is it, is it just trying to sort of be free psychologically? What is it? Maybe we train every day the best possible way, look after yourself and, and first of all believe that you can do it. Uh, and you can always improve, and you can always get better, and and play have players back. The more players we have back, more competition is going to be within the team, more alternatives, uh, more players to impact the game, and um, and make sure that uh, that especially that we believe that we can do it. Okay, last couple. Firstly, Carl from London. Hi, Mikhail. Um, in midweek, your team was accused of being criticised a bit for their ability to manage games, particularly towards the end, but. It's a really tricky Newcastle opponent. What does it say about the maturity that your side showed with a performance like that? Yeah, but this is normally um, described like this because of the result. Um, because if Martinelli puts that ball through for Bukayo and Bukayo scores, what happens? And this is football, and you give it away, and then he puts it in, in one corner, and then we have to manage the game better. I think it wasn't that. I think we have a lot of courage to defend the way we did, because we were incredibly good again against Porto. We didn't have enough courage to do what we've done today with the ball, and that was the disappointing thing. That's it. In the atmosphere today, from the start, was 
Really impressive and thank you so much for everybody that turned around with that attitude, with that energy. Thanks for the club as well because it's pushing that uh, to generate as well this atmosphere at home and it makes a huge impact for the team. So thank you. Is that yeah. something you personally have a role in? Were you telling the club that we want this atmosphere? We, need to we, get want, we want the best club in the world. To have, be the best club in the world, we have to have the best stadium, best atmosphere in the world. That's for sure. I find it going past us here. James from Deep on Time Yourself. How proud are you about the reaction from quarter of midweek, especially the intensity from the first half? What would you attribute that to? Uh, the, the character, the personality, and, and the fact that the team always wants more. And in a sport, things happen for a reason. You have to learn from that. If you feel sorry for yourself for three days ago, then what is it? It is a learning. Uh, we do that, and uh, we cannot cry because of the results. We have to understand why that happened and be better. And uh, that was the, the energy and, uh, and what it was in the back of the players, and they've done it. Okay, Paul. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you.